Well, this is the last weekend to check out all the great cars at the Twin Cities Auto Show. But joining us this morning is Richard Herod III from uh, White Bear Mitsubishi to talk more about how people are heading online to track down their perfect dream car. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. So I, I know that, yeah, you can go on the websites nowadays and, and pretty much build your car from top to bottom, but you can also use mobile devices as well. Yeah, most, uh, most car shopping now actually occurs on a mobile device. I mean, back in the day, you used to shop for a car by visiting multiple car stores. People 10, 20 years ago used to visit five or more car stores before they made a purchase decision. Now there's so much online information about shopping for a vehicle, your trade value, applying for financing. Most people visit less than two dealerships before making their purchase decision now. Yeah, so how does this change that uh, for, for both the dealer and the person buying the car? You have a very well-informed consumer walking in that door. Yeah, I mean, there there really isn't much smoke and mirrors now in terms of pricing. I mean, most consumers can figure out what a car should cost. In addition, uh, it really makes dealerships more, they have more responsibility to differentiate themselves online. So uh, consumers can see how a dealership is rated, for instance, on Google or Edmunds.com or whatnot. And before, you know, consumers had to just differentiate by how many balloons one dealer had <laughs> versus the other, or if they had the little... The white bear. Or the, well, the <laughs> white bear or, or the little man that, you know, kind of flew in yeah. the air or whatever. I mean, that, that was how a dealer differentiated themselves before. So what kind of concerns, though, are, are, are should uh, people have when they are looking for a car online? What do they need to know before they head to the dealer? Well, I mean, a lot of you know, a lot of consumers when they're looking online are looking for a great price, looking for a straightforward dealership, uh, and they're not necessarily looking for a dealer that has perfect reviews. But what they are looking for is a dealer that, if a consumer has uh, a concern, I mean, most people, if you have a great experience, you don't always tell someone. Mm -hmm. But if it's not great, you tell people. Now people share that concern online with social media, Facebook, Twitter. So if uh, if a dealership has a, a negative review or a concern, people look uh, for dealerships that have. Uh, dealers uh, that have quick responses mm -hmm. and offer solutions for those concerns. And I know we have some of the top dealers in the country right here in the state. Yeah, Edm Edmunds.com just released their uh, five-star dealer awards. And there's 800 dealers in the country and 15 were here in Minnesota. All right, so I have a couple questions before we let you go here. Do you ever see the traditional dealership going away? You know, I, I'm not sure because I, I think that uh, there's a lot of people who need to, to look, feel, and touch. I mm -hmm. mean, if a dealership was going to go away, you wouldn't have Apple stores, mm -hmm. right? Most people who want to buy an iPhone like to touch it first before they say yes. There are some people that will buy an iPhone without ever seeing it. For cars, you know, how, how, you, how it feels on your back and whatnot, I think people, as long as they have a vehicle to trade mm -hmm. and need financing and whatnot, I think dealerships are here for quite some time. And they want to see the white bear. Yeah. Uh, if you, and just really quick, because we're out of time, the auto show, free tickets if you come in? Yeah, we until 6 o'clock today. Uh, today and tomorrow is the last day of the auto show. If we come in for a test drive, we'll give you two free auto show tickets. All right, Richard, thanks for being with us. Thanks this so morning. much. We appreciate it. Josh, over to you.